Hello and welcome to the AI with Arun show. For the next few minutes, we are going to break down the top AI news from around the world. The news that you absolutely need to know. A sincere request to viewers to support our work by becoming a member. You can either click on the join button right below this video or you can go to the description of this video and at the very bottom, you will see the link to join us as a member. That being said, let's get started. Our top story this week involves the European Union, which is formally taking the reins on global AI governance as key provisions of the landmark EU AI Act begin implementation. The Commission is taking crucial steps towards enforcement. First, they have published the official reporting template for various serious incidents involving general purpose AI or GPAI, models that pose a systemic risk. This mandate ensures accountability and traceability, forcing providers to assess and mitigate risks if their models are deemed very capable or widely used. Second, the fight against digital deception is intensifying. The Commission formally launched the development of a code of practice focused squarely on marking and labeling AI-generated content. This was vital for combating misinformation, particularly deepfakes and text intended to inform the public. And finally, the EU is investing heavily in its own capacity, announcing the launch of the resource for AI science in Europe. The takeaway here is clear. Global firms are now forced to navigate vastly different compliance rules, accelerating the fragmentation of the global AI regulatory landscape. Moving to global safety, governments are no longer waiting for federal guidance. State and international bodies are carving out their own red lines. In the US, California has enacted two major laws. SB 53 mandates safety protocols and risk reporting for major AI developers. While SB 243 forces AI chatbots to identify and support users expressing suicidal thoughts. This sets a strong precedent for proactive regulation. New York State is focusing on accountability, requiring agencies to publish detailed public inventories for all automated decision-making tools. Citizens can now track exactly where AI is affecting their lives. Internationally, the UN has announced a new initiative to define strict red lines for AI misuse globally by 2026, focusing on ethical safeguards in high-risk applications. And finally, a sobering report from the BBC exposed a critical safety gap. Investigations found that chatbots gave harmful crisis advice, lacking features like de-escalation, leading to calls for mandatory audit standards, especially for high-stake roles. Now let's talk about the engine driving this whole revolution, which is compute power. NVIDIA remains the undisputed king of the hill having achieved an unprecedented 5 trillion market valuation this week. This monumental figure is driven by relentless demand for its advanced AI chips, particularly the Blackwell series, cementing hardware as the single most critical resource in the tech boom. The battle for access is intensifying. OpenAI secured a massive multi-year 38 billion compute partnership with AWS. This deal grants them access to NVIDIA GPUs via EC2 instance through 2026 directly addressing scaling bottlenecks for frontier model training. Simultaneously, Google is poised to deepen its investment in rival Anthropic, potentially valuing the company at over $350 billion. This complex move is driven by the need for compute access and cloud synergies, but it's also drawing heightened security from regulators. In a move underscoring the scale of this investment, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella and Open CEO Sam Altman discussed plans for a combined 3 trillion global AI build out, focusing heavily on cloud scale and next generation AI agents. While Nvidia dominates, competitors are fighting back by prioritizing energy efficiency. Qualcomm just launched new AI chips that rival Nvidia's energy efficiency, causing an 11% spike in its stock and reigniting competition in hardware innovation. Even more radical technologies are emerging. Xtropic introduced chips leveraging thermodynamic computing, claiming a potential 10,000-fold energy saving, which could revolutionize sustainable AI infrastructure. Furthermore, researchers in Sweden have created atom-thin magnets capable of reducing computing power requirements by 90% for low-energy AI chips. Finally, NVIDIA itself is fusing physical and digital worlds 
with physical AI, which combines vision AI and simulations for smart cities. Pilots in Asia and Ireland are already cutting response times for traffic and inspection decisions, proving the real-world value of digital twins. OpenAI is making calculated moves to expand globally while strengthening its safety infrastructure. First, they unveiled NQA, a critical new multilingual benchmark designed to assess AI's grasp of everyday Indian knowledge across 12 languages. Current leading models only scored in the mid-30s, highlighting significant gaps in cultural and contextual understanding that developers must urgently address. On the content front, OpenAI published a teen safety blueprint emphasizing age prediction technology, parental controls, and proactive content filtering in response to rising interactions by young users. To bolster security, they introduced Artwork, a GPT-5 based assistant specifically designed to automatically identify and fix software vulnerabilities in code bases, promising to accelerate code security audits exponentially. And for content creation, OpenAI removed the invite-only restriction for its high-fidelity video generation model, Sora, expanding access to key markets, including the US, the Canada, Japan, and South Korea. The trend among big tech is increasingly moving towards proprietary foundation models. Microsoft has launched its first in-house image generator, MAI Image One, which is now integrated into Bing Image Creator and Copilot. This strategic pivot signals Microsoft's desire to, to reduce reliance on partners and directly compete in the generative arts space. In parallel, Microsoft formed a new internal committee specifically dedicated to AGI oversight, aiming to address safety and governance through strategic partnerships particularly with OpenAI. Meta is also prioritizing AI acceleration. They debuted Vibes, a consumer AI-powered video creation app in Europe, while simultaneously laying off 600 roles to sharply focus company resources on privacy and AI product development. Google's strategy is heavily centered on transforming Gemini from an assistant into a true enterprise agent, grounded in verifiable data. They have integrated Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, into the Gemini API with the new file search feature. This allows developers to upload files or integrate Google Drive search for grounded cited AI responses, dramatically simplifying the creation of verifiable chatbots. CEO Sundar Pichai confirmed that the next generation Gemini 3 model will focus squarely on advanced agent-like capabilities for handling complex multi-step multimodal tasks. Furthermore, a new deep Research function allows Gemini to put contextual information from a user's own linked data sources, like the Gmail or the Drive, making it a personalized assistant with access to private data. To democratize AI creation, Google Apps expanded Opal, its no-code drag-and-drop builder for mini apps to over 160 countries, leveling the playing field for non-coders. One of the most meaningful applications of AI this week comes from Google DeepMind, focusing on global conservation. DeepMind has deployed AI for ecosystem modeling using graph neural networks to predict deforestation risks and map species ranges. This is a high-profile application of frontier AI to global sustainability challenges. The initiative also uses bioacoustics models like Perch 2 for endangered bird detection. Pilots in Hawaii and Australia are integrating satellite data to convert raw environmental information into policy-ready visuals, offering immediate actionable insights for conservation efforts. Enterprise adoption is hiring, is hitting full stride, shifting from experimental projects to standard operational procedures. IT giant Cognizant has cemented this trend by standardizing on Anthropic's cloud models enterprise-wide for its 350,000 odd employees. They will use cloud for code review, agentic workflows, and governance in engineering and finance. A Wharton report confirms this aggressive spending, finding that 88% of surveyed firms increased their AI budgets in 2025, driven by measurable ROI and productivity gains. For specific industries, the event technology sector is maturing, with innovation moving away from novelty towards meaningful AI automation. Additionally, 
Anthropic is making Claude more enterprise friendly by releasing an Excel plugin and rolling out book memory features to help users handle complex analysis and long conversations at scale. For professionals in regulated industries, particularly finance, the SEC is maintaining a hard line on AI usage. Industry experts confirm that despite the withdrawal of some proposed predictive data rules, the SEC remains highly vigilant regarding compliance and enforcement. Firms must immediately take inventory of the current AI use and establish firm-wide policies. Crucially, existing fiduciary and conflict of interest regulations apply directly to AI usage. Beyond regulation, experts stress that professionals using LLMs must adopt a decision-maker mindset, not merely a tool user. You are accountable for the output. To ensure quality, professionals are advised to use four anchors when evaluating AI output, authority check, ensuring tone and context are appropriate, purpose check, aligning the output with the user's specific goals, accountability check, ensuring you are willing to defend the viewpoint and the critical truth check, verifying the information. The socioeconomic impacts are becoming measurable. A Stanford study revealed a 20% drop in automated role job postings since 2022. This is narrowing the entry gap for Gen Z into the white collar roles like coding and content creation prompting recommendations for upskilling in hybrid tech fields. However, humans retain a crucial advantage. Research highlights primal intelligence, our distinct edge in scenarios characterized by volatility and uncertainty. This intelligence comes from our ability for narrative cognition, thinking in stories and intuition, identifying exceptions to rules when data is incomplete, skills focused on critical non-linear thinking will thrive. On the consumer side, AI is driving market fears. Platforms like Meta leverage AI for hyper-personalized ads, widening their competitive lead via data flywheels and sparkling market concentration fears. Finally, a social commentary piece warned that the rising trends of teens using AI companions can lead to a loss of meaning as these one-sided interactions lack the reciprocal benefit and mutual fulfillment that true human relationships provide. The focus in AI architecture is now on making large models run dramatically faster and cheaper. Researchers called introduced CALM or continuous autoregressive low-rank models. This method predicts next vectors, not tokens, drastically reducing the generation steps required while maintaining performance. This tokenless generation is vital for inference efficiency and will bring significant cost savings for mobile and edge AI. And the open source world, Alibaba, released Tongyai Deep Research, a 30.5 billion parameter long horizon AI agent. It's trained on synthetic data and open sourced for reproducible deep research. Similarly, Moonshot AI released Kimi K2, an open agent that excels in complex coding and reasoning using quantization to enable fast, verifiable inference on consumer hardware. The evolution from static LLMs to autonomous agentic systems is accelerating across professional fields. In science, Future House Cosmos AI is processing thousands of papers and code snippets to generate auditable research report in cardiology and neuroscience, achieving 79% accuracy in conclusions. This capability is shaving months off research timeliness. For software development, Cursor 2.0 launched enabling true multi-agent collaborative coding environments, accelerating the pace of team-based software creation. And for physical tasks, scaling laws are emerging in robotics. Gen O, a 7 billion parameter model, learns fluid actions from demonstrations and can transfer behaviors across different robot bodies. This breakthrough indicates that robotics ROI hinges increasingly on data forecasting the next hardware boom. AI is redefining boundaries in human culture and communication. For the arts, an Italian research group successfully used AI authentication to verify a Caravaggio artwork, assigning it an 85.7% probability of authenticity. This marks a major shift in how art, history, and forensic analysis are conducted. Meanwhile, on the commercial side, 
Coca-Cola is using generative AI to create large holiday advertisement campaigns capable of completing entire campaigns within 30 days. But perhaps the most profound development is in neuroscience. Researchers demonstrated a breakthrough in mind captioning, translating brain MRI signals from viewing to recall into inherent text narratives. This neuro AI advancement has profound implications for aphasia patients, patients and transforms how we envision human AI interfaces. Now, building on the advances in neuro AI accessibility, tech is seeing major investments in ARPA Edge. The Federal Health Agency funded an AI powered autonomous wheelchair equipped with a robot arm. The platform uses advanced AI for navigation and tasks like feeding and handling groceries. Targeting market readiness within 12 months, this supports the assistive technology market, which is already growing at 15% yearly. In related legislative news, Montana enacted a law that sets rules for AI-controlled critical infrastructure, like risk management policies, while also establishing a right to compute. This balances necessary safety controls within the promotion of decentralized computational resources. Now for some developments in sustainability and consumer access. Chinese EV maker Ziping unveiled Iron, a new humanoid robot intended for use in its factories, signaling an accelerated industrial scale adoption of embodied robotics. Updates to the Tesla's Optimus robot also continue to highlight the major push for AI integration into real-world manufacturing automation. In sustainable technology, Lamar.ai is using drones equipped with AI to detect leaks and risks in building. Pilots in Detroit were incredibly successful, resulting in 22% energy savings and reducing audit times from weeks to mere seconds. This proves the immense ROI computer vision offered for scalable green technology. Finally, AI search capabilities are becoming ubiquitous, researching, reaching consumers where they are. Perplexity's AI search engine has been integrated directly into Snapchat, making real-time generative AI tools widely available for information retrieval. With that, we come to the end of the show. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned anything in this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the AI with Arun show. And thank you so much for watching.